Hello, thank you for clicking on our Sodden Seed Ink Carapia video link. This is going to be a video of Carapia being stress tested and the progression of its recovery. Essentially, we wanted to simulate drought conditions along with other common lawn care mistakes. We'll have a brief overview of the area that Carapia was grown on and the various stages of stress testing leading up to its recovery. We'll also be sure to have some commentary by my colleague and I about the stress testing process, why we do it, its recovery, and also discuss common questions we get about Carapia. We hope you enjoy the video. All right, so the lawn you saw in the previous clip was originally a very typical lawn that is dead. The top of it was removed. Note that we did not prep the area or have any fresh topsoil. We put up some border and started laying down the carapia scraps or incomplete rolls along with some other sod samples to be stress tested, eventually filling up the whole area. You can see here some progress on their growth. After a couple of weeks, carapia has healed itself. And as the sod died out and we had extra scraps from different carapia jobs, we added them in. You can see now those pieces starting to grow with uniformity. Eventually, we filled the entire lawn with bits and pieces of carapia and watched it grow. Notice where it was planted first. It grew even on the cement area and eventually spread in a uniform way over the whole lawn. During the months outlined, it was not regularly watered or tended to. You can see we kind of threw stuff on top of it. And, and then in February, decided to put a pallet over it to see how it would respond to this type of stress. And then the pallet was removed in March, and you can see Carapia starting to heal itself, eventually making a close to full recovery. We also removed some pieces to be stress tested for other purposes, which was damage to the lawn as well. And here you can see in May, uh, the lawn with very minimal care. And then in July, the lawn after not being watered for over two months. This is the Carapia lawn after not being watered for two months and 20 days between May and July. We also stress tested our other sod types. And the only other sod type that did relatively well was our latitude 36 Bermuda, which you can see up at the top of the screen. And we also put down some Carapia at the same time that the sod samples were laid out to be stress tested. And this is how well it did compared to the other sod samples you see. Again, this is one last shot of the Carapulon right before it's gonna be watered for the first time after being stress tested for two months and 20 days during summertime and receiving zero water. So we really were able to get it in conditions of extreme drought. Temperatures ranging between 90 to 105. So it's been a very long time since I've washed, watered this. But I'm gonna let this run for about five minutes. Come check on it, move it. Do another five minutes at the bottom and should be good. We can see as it gets wet. Some of these pieces that look like they're dead are actually still really green. So we shouldn't have any issues with recovery. I'm gonna give this about five minutes of water and check in tomorrow. This is George from Sodden Seed. Uh, so this is after a day of watering. It's still really crunchy but it's starting to pick up. So, this will be the second day of watering. And then you can see the stuff in the shady areas are already starting to recover really well. Yep. Day two of water. All right, it's a nice, uh, Still day two of watering this, um, but it came out and it's still crunchy, so I thought to get it wet one more time.
Some of these vines are still alive. Others have rooted down here. But for the most part, it's looking pretty good. So this is two days. The first day I did it was once, and then this time, today I'm doing it twice. Just because it's still dry and crunchy. You can see wherever it is healthy, it blooms flowers. It's still actually going through its cycle, so the bees will love it. So I'm gonna hit this for another five minutes, probably. Also, uh, pop those out, just so I could get better watering. And uh, try to leaf blow out all the cones and uh, pine cone needles. Give it its best shot at recovering, you know? All right, so it's day two of watering and I haven't really fertilized crop too much. Uh, so I'm gonna hit half with lawn food and the other half with starter just because it was massive damage to what I did. So I got my pine cones out and whatnot. Let's see. And it's starting to do its thing. But we can always ramp that up by just adding some fertilizer. So I'm going to be using Sun Seed Starter Fertilizer. Alrighty, alrighty, so this is after one week of watering our Carapulon. Notice that the bush on the right was removed for even water distribution. And because the project was done between May and October, when Carapia flowers, you can see it blooming, even when it's stressed. Yeah, uh, check out the sod, Carapia. Looking good. Everything's slowly and steadily recovering, so I don't see any issues. Okay, so I skipped a couple days on watering i think three days of watering uh just wanted to kind of see if we were still going well and everything's still cleaning up really nicely top's almost completely healed except for that divot and i'm sure this will take another week or two but this will be looking good as new problem with making friends with animals. Come on buddy, get off me. Come on, get off me. No, go, go into the plants. No, go into the plants. I know, we can be friends, but you gotta get off me. You gotta go to your new home. You're the new body, you're the new guard. Okay, there you go. Good job, buddy. He was a good friend for a short time. Sometimes that's all you need. That and he really likes to go on the way. Hey, why are you going away? Yeah. Are you enjoying your new Corabia? It should be a luxurious home for you. You wanna bump it? Yeah. Oh, let's bump it. Boom. They're covering pretty well. These are starting to green up again. This stuff was all dead with less light, grow slower. Uh, aside from that though, it's coming back pretty nicely. This is George from Sun Seed. Uh, had some knee surgery, so I haven't been out here in a minute. Uh, we weren't watering this, uh, so there was no real repairs going. I had my son water once and it's fixing itself pretty quickly. Um, this one had a little better help on it, 
but it's looking about to do the same thing. Uh, so, yeah, it'll fill itself in really nicely. Hello again everyone. So this is our Carapulon after being watered for nearly three weeks. It had been stress tested for about two months. We started documenting its recovery at Sodden Seed Inc. We want to be sure to be as knowledgeable and educated as possible about our products to provide you with accurate information based on direct experience and testing. So at this point it's about 95% recovered. So for these repairs on the Carapia, it's as simple as getting some strands, moving around, filling the area with soil so it doesn't dry out. You can always dump back the area later, but usually this happens in unelevable areas. Also, if you look at our previous videos, the reason this doesn't look well is because this had all previously died and been scrapped from a job. I believe it's set in a truck for about a week and Instead of throwing it to the dumps, we just plopped it down and out of the water. Everything's looking great. And this is, uh, yeah, less than three weeks. But it'll do a full recovery. And then some. Um, if you guys are looking for Carapia, our company does provide Carapia delivery. Minimum orders are 200 square feet. Uh, check out all of our product line at lawndelivery.com. Links will be in the description below. Yeah, it's looking good. The runners have also began healing and spreading down at this lower soil area. So, even in places where you know, 90% of it died in these lower crevices. It just rerooted down here and restarted. Um, aesthetically, it looks great while creeping over everything. So this area is our biggest damage, but as you can see, it has no problem finding its way. So eventually it'll be creeping down and that'll control erosion and any dirtiness down there. Thank you so much for watching our video and going through this stress test and recovery of Carapia journey with us. You can purchase Carapia at our site, lawndelivery.com, or by giving us a call at 925-435-7874. Please share this video to spread the word about Carapia. At Sodden Seed Inc., we care about our plants surviving and are conscientious about our environment, global climate, and sustainability practices. Every 25 square feet of one of our ground covers produces enough oxygen every day for one adult. And with Carapia, you can see it never has to be mowed, reducing gas lawnmower pollution. It also requires significantly less watering, supporting water conservation, all without sacrificing a beautiful safe area to play or relax on. Again, feel free to give us a call to place your order or ask any lingering burning questions at 925-435-7874 
or visit our website at lawndelivery.com. We'll talk to you soon.